Okay, now what do you do? You get all excited, you just finished your project, you just made a plant stand, a bar stool, a chair, something that has legs, and then you go to use it, and it wobbles, it doesn't set level. What do you do? You put a lot of hard work into it. I'll show you what to do. This can get very frustrating and a little bit scary at the first time it happens to you, but start off by making your legs a little bit longer than you want them to be. And then after that, my workbench is on a flat surface. It's level. And I have the small level here so I can just easily put my level on top of the bench like that. <laughs> so get it nice and level. And then I'll show you a little bit of trick of how to make these legs nice and level and even. And when you put a plant on a plant stand or if this is a bar stool when you sit on it, it won't wiggle, it won't wobble. Okay, so just take a piece of wood. It doesn't really matter the thickness. This time I'm using a half inch thick piece of wood. It could be three quarters, could be one quarter, whatever you want. And just take a pencil and tape it on like this. You gotta have a nice and secure, but level, level and secure. So tape it on like that. I'm just gonna put another piece on here. So I don't want this to move at all. Okay, and then you just go around and mark it like this with your pencil on the nice level workbench that I have. Just make sure what, if it's a workbench, it's level, it could be a concrete floor, just whatever, just make sure it's level. This is the one that's really off, see? So that's level right now, so this one's gonna be cut less than the other three. That's how this works. See how it tips? I mark that so I have to make sure to keep it the way it's supposed to be. So you just go around like this and mark it. It's pretty simple. It's one of those things that you really don't think about unless somebody explains it to you, and then once it's explained to you, it's like, oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. So it makes perfect sense to me. I hope this makes perfect sense to you. Um, and then, and then what I do is I just take a handsaw. You can use uh, like a band saw, I'm sure too, as long as the blade doesn't drift on you. Maybe a table saw, maybe. Any, some type of power saw or especially a handsaw. I like to use a handsaw because that way I can just like leave the line barely. And uh, by the time I cut these off, it should shouldn't I say it should set nice and level but I'm leaving a pencil line and using a handsaw and to make this even more interesting I'm not going to use fine woodworking handsaw at all I'm just going to use a very a general construction handsaw you can find these any place and I'm going to use that to make this cut just to prove that you don't need expensive tools to do this and as I cut down, I just watch on both sides of the line of the cut and, and just barely leave the pencil line as I go along. And just stop from time to time and check and see how you're doing. Since this is going to take a little while, a few minutes, I'll get back with you. So when you cut these legs, just take your time and hopefully you don't get tear out like this one. But if you do get tear out, don't panic. It's not the end of the world. But if you do take your time, they come out real nice and clean like this one. But if you do get some tear out like this, it's gonna be okay because on our legs, we're gonna want to chamfer these legs anyhow at the very bottom so that when they slide across the floor, 
it does eventually start to peel away. So we gotta make sure that we chamfer the bottom of all four legs, which I did already. And when you chamfer the bottom of all four legs, as long as it's not a very bad tear out, this will just get sanded right away. So you can't even see where it was on these four legs. And as you can see, they're all four nice and level now. And that's how you level out your, your legs on a table, on a chair, on a bar stool, or in this case, a plant stand. So if this video has been helpful to you, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please remember to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, hit the like button, maybe even share it on some other social media. I'd greatly appreciate that. And until next time, have a great day.